Who's that? Pull back. guys and welcome it is the SW2 to today bring you yet another episode of the tear it up series where you guys in the comment section below tell me what weapons to use and tear it up with and what not now last time we had used the tenta sorella brella uh it was a really fun episode well fun maybe that's a bit of a stretch but <laughs> it was an episode uh you should definitely check that out if you haven't already uh, it was really good, but either way, let's go ahead and check what weapon we are going to use to use and uh, tear it up with. The weapon of choice, well, I guess you guys' choice, is the Kensa Sloshing Machine. It's the the favoured sloshing machine in this game uh, by a lot of people. A lot of people really like this weapon, uh, mainly because of its fizzy bomb and the weapon itself is just really strong, so it's just, it just does quite a lot. Like, it has, it has quite a lot of range. Uh, for the weapon it is and like I guess the stuff that it can do like it can hit things that are like hanging on walls and behind walls and uh, Just throw fizzy bombs and just annoy people like that's it, it does qu quite a lot of stuff. So This is the build I'm gonna run. I'm not so sure how good this build is gonna go uh, I don't need any special charge, but I have special charge anyway and uh, I figured we'll just go with it. I actually know I might change it up a little bit. I, sh I might change this up a little bit, actually. I'm thinking about having run speed. Actually, yeah, let's have some run speed instead of uh, no run speed. And instead, we're going to also put on this. Right, yeah. We're going to go no swim speed. Might be a little bit weird because, to be honest, I'm not going to really be swimming so much when using this weapon, if, I'm, if I think about it. So... Yeah, honestly, let's just go with this and see what happens. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so here we are going in to our very first game. Now, just checking the rotation, it is tower control on Kelp Dome and Wahoo World. And uh, I'm hoping that we get Wahoo World every single time. Like, I know I'm an advocate for wanting map variety within my Tearing It Up episodes, but uh, what's it called? It's very, very, it would be very nice if I just get Wahoo World. Anyways, using the Kenzo Soshi machine, uh, I'm just going to start off by just throwing some fizzy bombs. Everyone seems to be dead, so we can go ahead and push the tower already. Uh, if my dude just gets a tower, cool. Now, there is, there it seems like they are going this way, so I'm just going to head and toss fizzy bombs that way. That's just gonna annoy them. That's one kill right there, too. Oh, oh wait. We're off tower at this point. That uh, machine- or well, not the machine, but the Tentabrilla is very, very low in ink. There we go. Oh. One shot. Nicely done. Uh, there is a splatter shot. He's the actually only person. I'm not gonna approach him. Just gonna toss my fizzy bombs. As this is what this weapon is, well, you kind of just do a lot of uh, fizzy bomb tossing. At least what I, at least also what I like to do, because it's just like I don't have to move anywhere. I can just kind of let people come to me, and then I take them out if I need to. Uh, it just seems like the tenta brother, right? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, we're pushing. Cool, cool, cool. We can push again. I'm just kind of chilling around in this area right now. Nice. Fizzy bomb up there. It's gonna suppress the sweater shot, I believe. There we go, he's now dead. Uh, just chilling. There's a guy coming right here. Tenebrilla. Get him off. Fizzy bomb behind the blaster. It's gonna annoy him a little bit as I shoot, uh, I guess, sloshes in front of him. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, there's a guy right here. Get him! Easy! There's one right in front of us too again. We literally- our entire game has literally been just chilling in uh, this one spot here. Uh, I'm just chilling here. Whoop. Nicely done. Alright, cool. We can push. I'm tossing Fizzy Bomb over there. Move to the left side. Fizzy Bomb here. 
I mean, sometimes it. Just, I mean, your physical golem doesn't always have to get a kill, but it, it it just paints so much. So it's just like, if I can just toss loads of them, I'm just gonna generate and just annoy people, and you know, also apply a lot of damage too, because you know, that's kind of what fizzy bombs kind of do. Either way, cool. That guy is weak. One shot, nice. Ten umbrella is gonna be weak. I'm just gonna splash down. Nicely done. I'm gonna get the assist as well. Machine. I'm just gonna assist all day, dude. <laughs> I might die here. Oh, never mind. No death. No death. We don't die out here, guys. <laughs> that was a good. Uh, that was a good first game. Literally, all we did was just throw fizzy bombs. That is all we did, and that's what I plan to. That's what I plan to do for the, the next few games that we do play. I don't know how many assists I got. I don't even know how many kills I got, but I know I got a ton of assists. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so here we are going into our next game using the cancer sloshing machine. It's gonna be another game on Wahoo World. I'm gonna apply the same starting strat just by chilling on our left side, throwing some uh, fizzy bombs. And then I'm gonna scout the map to see where anyone is, and then maybe see if I can uh, pressure it with the weapon itself. So, start from here. Fizzy bomb there. It does seem like there's someone actually going downwards from, uh, what's it called? That one's from the right side there. Oh, this, uh, it's a uh, brush, I believe. There we go, nice. Uh, don't you know. I don't know if I just heard that right, but the machine, not the machine, but the uh, heavy splatling was suppressing me there. I believe that is the brush, who's gonna die once again. Nice, one guy. Nice, alright. We cleared them out, but it seems like a roller is still here. There we go, nicely done. Uh, oh wow, they actually jumped. Oh, they're jumping, but they're not pushing, so that's fine for us. This guy's gonna go all the way, it seems. Oh, I ran out of ink. I need to really be careful about uh, not spamming my uh, fizzy bombs so much like that. He knows, he knows. I need to get him out, though. I'm gonna go to the right side because I don't have a good angle on him. And I don't want to keep uh, all these positions just not, uh, not covered. I'm not so sure what is going on right now. It seems like they're trying to jump to the tower. And I'm not quite okay with that. Oh, run back! Those missiles almost got me. The roller apparently is now dead. But there are people trying to do something here. Dude, we just needed to like stay alive for just a few seconds. A few seconds right now, dude. Because we're, we're fighting one man down each time, and I, like they're not even pushing because we can't even find a pick. Or well, we're not finding picks properly, at least. I'm gonna jump. This will be splashdown jump. There we go, nice. Alright, now we can push. I'm gonna be quick to get this beacon out of here. There we go, nice. I'm in the position. It's just a matter of taking these guys out now. Nicely done. We can kill that machine, or heavy, whatever he's called. That is the brush. Gotta be careful the roller coming in now. He's coming from the left, top left, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Or well, somebody's coming over here. It seems like it was a splatter shot. But the roller, we still gotta be careful about him. I don't know where he's... He's coming all the way around. I just remember it specifically about him because he was the first one that spawned in. Uh... It seems like everyone is, uh, coming out of spawn now. So, we're chilling. You can push that guy. That cancer shot should die, bear in mind with my teammates, what, what they're doing. Uh, now it's roller we're looking for. Heavy is on spa off spawn, the roller is in front of us. I'm gonna shake this up. I'm not throwing it just yet, now. They're on top. We can kill this heavy. Actually, I'm going to just uh, splash down to survive. And the heavy is going to go all the way top left, I believe. Or not. Oh, the roller is going to slap me. Cool. Alright. That was a weird game. That was a very strange game. It was like... 
We kept getting picked off too early, like we're kind of rushing things down uh, before, well, before really, we didn't really spot, like I, I just felt like our team didn't spot as well as we could have, which was probably one of our major downfalls, but uh, we still won the game, we get one point, I'll see you guys in the next game. Right guys, here we are, going in to the next game, let's see what we can get done here. On Wahoo World, thank you very much. I don't have to play Kelp, though. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to play Kelp. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we can still make Kelp work uh, fairly well, but like, I don't want to. I don't want to have to play it. If you know what I mean, like, I'd rather not play it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Kelp Dome Tower because it's uh, it's very questionable. But either way, uh, start the game again the same way. Toss a couple of fizzy bombs. Uh, fizzy bombs in the middle. This will just clear him out, so we can actually just get middle control because I'm just doing this right now. I'm still gonna just wait until the uh, clears up. That guy just messed up. Unless he tries to hit a shot on me, <laughs> he actually hit it. Fair enough. Well, we traded, but uh, it's gonna be a 2v2 situation, but one of our guys has little range, so it's gonna be a struggle for him. I guess maybe I shouldn't have uh, went for the challenge there. That machine is, well not machine, but that guy is dead. Uh, and this guy is not on this wall. Or not sharking exactly where I think he is. There we go, nice. Literally just went under the the blaster shot there. Uh, we can kill that guy. If we're fast enough, we can kill that guy. But uh, he's pushed away. I gotta be really careful. I don't want to like... I don't want to get too close to this uh, range blaster. Mainly because of what he can do. Uh, just chilling on a wall. He knows I'm here. He knows I'm here, so I have to move out the way. Oh, hello? There's a guy here. Unfortunate for you, I had to splash down. That was, uh, I guess, good timing that I did have it. So I could actually survive that. We could probably kill, push this guy. Mm, I want to. Okay, well, he died. I hear another one. Nice. There is a guy on tower. And there's a special pro on my right side. If they're pushing, I don't know. But there was one guy that pushed the head in front, no? Okay, that is that is the, the carbon. Bro, we have not pushed. <laughs> I want to I want to initiate something, but it's just like we are not moving. Or haven't had much opportunity to. And I just don't want to throw, like, I don't, I really don't want to just throw myself away and just do something silly. Goodbye, sir. Someone might be spawning, though. Uh. There we go, nice, last one's pro, he's on top left, there you go. We can push this guy now. One, nice. Another one, okay, direct, I got directed, but that's totally fine. That's applied enough, uh... Aggression for us to get through the next checkpoint, which is great. I'm gonna use this beacon and probably just pounce on this guy. Oh wait, it's a heavy swatling, so he didn't move as fast as I thought they would. Okay, just back up. I should just chill right here. Oop. I'm pretty sure this carbon again is gonna go from the top right here. He's already here. Don't know where he's going, though. Definitely in the position, though. Oh my god! Oh. I was hoping to use my splashdown and survive that. Like, there's a point of time where you can actually splash down and uh, survive a booyah bomb. I think the booyah bomb has to, like, land on the floor as soon as you pop your splashdown, though. Fortunately, uh, that didn't go in my favor. Uh, we're gonna lose our player here. He's weak. He knows I'm coming up here, no? Alright. Range Blaster knows. That's fine for me. Don't look at me! Oh my god, I lived! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna live that, but I did. Ah, uh, okay. We'll, we'll die here. 
Uh, they have. They still haven't pushed. It's just that heavy that has a stingray, but he's probably gonna lose it from dying there. A trade. We have really not done anything this game. We're just kind of like, we're just kind of just moving around the map, but not really getting anything done. Besides that one push that we did. I mean, that was solid, but uh. Okay. Oh my god. I gotta be careful. Oh, we're alive. They are pushing tower, so I gotta be careful. I did see somebody in middle too. That was the range blaster there. And the last two guys- oh, everyone's over there. Uh. Okay, well, I don't need to push that. But I will splash down jump here, why not? Bam! One kill. And we win! Cool. Weird! <laughs> Real weird, but we win. I'll take it. That was a strange game there, but... I mean, either way... We are now, com well, I guess, continuing. Jeez, we literally not did, did get we literally didn't get anything done that game. But I mean, you can only do so much <laughs> by yourself, at least. I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, guys. So here we are, going into the next game. So we've done three games of Wahoo World. Will we get kelp? Nope. No, we won't. And that's okay. That's okay. That's totally fine with me. I will continue to play Wahoo World as much as possible. Now they are double backline, so they're gonna be they're gonna be really slow. So uh, the majority of this game, I'm probably only going to be fighting their Tetra Dooley and uh, their their Tetra Dooley and their the Enzap, depending on how this goes. I'm gonna try and help my teammate here. He's so weak. There we go. Nice. I gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure their Hydra is on the right side or their Charger or whatever. Oh! I don't know what's below me. I don't know what even was here. What was near me? I, there was a guy here. Goodbye, sir. Sorry. Nice. We can push now. We're looking for an end zap somewhere, though. Uh, Tetraduli. I'm not so sure. Okay, the Hydra is still on their platform. That's totally fine with me. Chill right under this platform here. Seems like we're just pretty much chilling at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hi, friend. Sorry, it's, it's double backline, so they can't really do much. Seems like we're just kind of taking control here. Oh, don't look up. Nice. Just one. That's also something you can do uh, with uh, Fizzy Bomb. I didn't really mention it, but like, if you are trying to make like a line path for yourself, one thing can be really helpful is just uh, throw throw the Fizzy Bomb. Throw the Fizzy Bomb in the heads, and then you get an easy kill straight away. Oh, I'm going to die here. Possibly die. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna die. Nice one. I did get a good direct there. So we'll take that. I'm gonna jump to this beacon on the right. Jump to it. Go around. It seems like there's one guy on this around this tower right now. Seems like we're just being careful about all of them. I'm not so sure what that zap is doing there though. Oh. That could have been played better. I kind of just, uh, I mean, I knew the charger was going to push, but, like, how I went about that. Okay, well, they're all dead. How I went about that wasn't so smart. This zap is one shot. Nicely done. The Tetris is spawning back in, but we're all on tower here. Hitting something. There we go. That Hydra is dead again. Just kind of pressuring here. Oh, we're all dead. We're all dead. We're not on tower. I'm just gonna chill in this corner. Someone's bound to just... I mean, I don't I don't expect them to think that I'm still here. Cool. And I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, well. 
Oh, he had horns, so he knew exactly where I was. Never mind. Well, we have a ton of beacons here. We have actually four sets of beacons, so we're chilling. I am going to toss the fizzy bomb there, but I know there is one guy on our left, so... Oh, no. I don't know how that charge knew I was there. I mean, maybe he had his, the assumption that I, I could have been there. Or I guess he had the the X there. Either way, the beacon comes in clutch. Flanking the Hydra, last one's the Zap. Nice. And uh, I'm just going to chill in this spot here. Toss the Fizzy Bomb away. Go all the way to the left. Except... Oh, can we get this guy? This is Tetra, no? Oh no, is that Hydra? That was a Hydra who caught me there. That was unfortunate. I should have just stayed in my position where I was. I probably wouldn't have died. Like, I, I didn't have no reason to really uh, change position there. Especially when they're all coming up and they're all still alive. It's just like... I just threw myself... Oh, if, can you imagine if I hit that? I just kind of threw myself into that for no reason. Especially if my t other teammates also had that control too. But either way, we we've pretty much won this game already. Uh, well, yeah, I will get sniped if I chill there. That zap is dead. That Hydra somehow managed to survive, but the Fizzy Bomb might kill. Well, if I continue to throw Fizzy Bombs around this area. Oh, I'm dead. Or not. We're very much alive. <laughs> We're very much alive after that. I probably would have killed the charger there too, but... Yeah. Sick game. <laughs> Sick game, dude. Uh, it was a little bit unfortunate that he had uh, the double backline there, but... I mean, we'll take the game under the belt. Not bad, not bad. They still did... I mean, they didn't have any stingrays, but uh, they still played well, at least. So, it's not bad. Just get, see you guys in the next game. Alright guys, so here we are, going into another game. New set of players. Now, question is, will we have Kelpdome? Yes! Yes! No Kelpdome. Just the way I like it. Keep it that way. Let's just continue playing Wahoo World. <laughs> Good. Alright, I'm fine with this, guys. Alright, I don't know about you. But this should be a little bit more of an interesting game, since uh, there's no backline, so more people are more likely to actually, like, move around the map, which is, uh... I mean, I don't, I I don't want to say it's great for us, but it's more entertaining, at least. Uh, I'm gonna leave those missiles here and then help my team... Wait. I need to go to the right side. This guy coming on the right side. Help my teammate here. Ooh, that was a nice direct. Oh! He tried it, he tried it, but we were there. I gave him the booyah because I'm using uh, my power controller. <laughs> Take this guy out, easy, nice. I'm gonna splash down here. Nice, also take the dude out. Uh, not so sure where anyone else is though. I assume they're all on the left side though. Fizzy bomb, away. Oh, okay, well I'm dead. <laughs> now they got in there fast then. They must have had, oh yeah, they have a beacon up there, so they must have had multiple people jumping around there and they all just sort of rushed. A little insane, but I think we can still stop this to a certain degree. So I threw a little fizzy bomb. That guy should definitely die. Nice. All right, that's a good, that's a good wipe. Uh, we are looking for one guy though. Oh, here he is. Just don't die. Just don't die. I'm not so sure how he's moving across. He's going all the way to the right side. We gotta be careful about these guys dropping a left. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna take more more care into looking at that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die here, unfortunately. I need to make sure I take more care of that. Uh because I could have thrown a fizzy bomb up and over and it would have uh it probably probably cleared the beacon out. Unless uh, they put down another one. There is a zap right here. Oh god, those missiles are not so nice. But I do survive, so that's great. Uh, it does seem like there's two guys in the middle still. It's just one guy on the tower. I just need to make sure that I have ink to actually challenge this guy. Busy bomb. That's one, two, three, four. Nice. Oh. The fourth one's over here, 
Haven't taken him out yet. Now we have. All right, cool. Uh, check. Okay, there is a guy up here. They're already here. They're already here. All right, they got their fuss. I should have probably came from middle then. But that beacon, that beacon right there, you can see it's helping them so much because every single time they they spawn in, they're well, every single time they die, they're literally just already spawning in. Well, already in the fight again. Uh, I ran out of ink. We can kill this guy though, can we? Nah, they're gonna be a pinch because of that beacon still. That beacon is such a such a problem for us right now. Okay. So I'm gonna throw the fizzy bomb there. I kind of want to get under. But I'll throw the fizzy bomb. He's got right sides. I'll help you out, dudes. No problem. It'll be quick. Nice one. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Smash down in the look up. He, he somehow survived that. Jeez. Okay, great. Oh, it's just one guy. Get rid of these beacons, wherever they are. Uh, they're all on the right side. Yeah, they're jumping already. Right, we just gotta kind of hold control here. Unless they come behind. Oh my gosh, dude, these beacons are so annoying. <laughs> they're just swarming everywhere. Like, it's like, sometimes I don't even know exactly where they're coming from. Alright, well, we have one minute to try and change this now. They only have one beacon, so if we do well enough to actually clear this out, we ha might have a chance here. Well, we'll have a better chance, at least. We did kill two, though. Uh, guys jumps. I'm already, already here, dude. <laughs> They're swatting everywhere, dude. Alright, well... If we can do better than staying alive, because we... I mean, that's, that's also one thing that we can do. Or well, we're gonna need to do at this point. I'll toss Fizzy Bomb here. We have like one chance at this point now. They're all gonna just sit on tower. Oh no, I lost that fight. You gotta come to the tower, dude. Ends up, you gotta like... Get, a mul get multiple kills here, or also stand on the tower. Well, you're not doing it. Let's rest in peace. Oh god. That was, I mean, we did the best we could. I mean, it was a little bit annoying. Uh, it was a little bit annoying that we couldn't exactly uh, clear that out. But, you know, we still did our best. Uh, well, we still had our best game, at least. It's totally fine. We'll just leave that. I shall see you guys in the last game. Alright, guys. So here we are. The final game. Hoping that it's not... Kelpdo! Ah, oh, no, it's Kelpdo! <laughs> Rest in peace. It's it's over, guys. It's over. <laughs> Either way, we can still try and do our best here. Uh, I'm gonna do something kind of different here. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and flank. Uh, instead of uh, going to the right, like, through middle. I have a tendency just going always middle. So sometimes it's not always the best thing to do. That guy is so very weak. Uh, that's kind of messed him up quite a little bit, though. Oh, God. Run here. Oh, he hit the shot. Rest in peace. Well, let's see if new player can actually get something done. Oh, he only got one kill, but... I guess we're, that's, that's, that's just what we're going to have to take, dude. Either way, I am going to throw... Uh, what would you call a Busy bomb away. We actually cleared them out. I'm not going to die here, fortunately. Oh, that bomb. Rest in peace, the bomb. I turn around, there's a bomb behind me. I mean, what can you do? Uh, okay, two down, nice. Should just be on tower now. Nice. It's just the machine over there. So we can go ahead and clear this out. Just have to hold positions here. Uh, I'm just going to chill right in this position. No need for me to move. I can just toss fizzy bins. Fizzy bins. Fizzy bombs here. I should probably, like, make sure if uh, that guy is trying to toss uh, torpedoes. Uh, I should just basically watch out for it. And since my dynamo is not going to be able to do it so well. Or take those torpedoes up so well. In cases like that, too. 
There's a guy fully flanking, but he's only going to be able to do so much. He's on the run, honestly. Yeah, I'll just let him run. We've got more important things to do. Weak. Uh, it's a charger. I literally do not want to die. So I am literally just going to wait until someone picks up tower and then uh, we can push again. I'll just hold this position until uh, we get something done. Shaking the fizzy bomb. My charger is over there. There's no way he's going to be able to take this out. No way. Zap's flanking again. Nice. Don't have an armor for this thing, Ray. That guy's one shot. Okay, we have the armor now. <laughs> a little, bit de little delayed, but now we're going to have to get on tower. If someone can actually like trade with me, I don't want to have to stand on it, but that's fine. I guess we'll, we'll stand it here. Tower's a little bit laggy, too. What is that? Mm. Well... Couple more points. We're gonna have to back up since they do uh, just armor. You can sting right here. I'll try and keep you safe. Nice. Nice. Cool. Good wipe. There is a stingray somewhere. I'm trying to push it. No! <laughs> I wanted to see if I could reach him, but he's just a little too far for me. But either way, we might actually get that checkpoint it's just one touch there we go nice okay we get a checkpoint so if we continue to push it like we are now uh it should be way easier to actually go ahead and win this game i'm not gonna pick that up as much as i want to hold the tower i don't really i don't want to be the one that's on the tower i kind of want to be pushing up and fragging out that guy's gonna flank all the way around should be right here dead nice and we're going to end the game just like that. Huh. <sighs> well, as much as I don't like Kelp Dome, I mean... I mean, Kelp Dome, I don't really think anyone likes it. <laughs> because it's just like, when you get past the first checkpoint, it's just a matter of just holding one side and then you basically win the game, so... But the new player went off. Clash Blaster. Plus zero, okay, well, no points. I shall see you guys in the plaza. Okay guys, so that is going to be today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty fun to actually use the Kansas Soshi Machine. Uh, some of the teams, not gonna lie, I, there were a couple of games I just left out where I had people who literally went 1 and 23 and 2 and 15. I'm, I had some games like that where it was literally just me on the team that I just decided just to wipe out, which... Uh, you guys will not see. I mean, we can show a couple of highlights of some of the stuff I did because, you know, the, the, my gameplay was sick. Just saying. But uh, that was a that was a good that was a good session, though. That was a good session. I showed you guys all the best games anyway. So either way, it's been sick. I gotta talk to the Cyclops again. Oh, the, no, the cat. He's got six sea snails, sea snails for me. And yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Shout out to you guys in the premiere chat. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you enjoy watching this. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below uh, to tell me what weapon I should use next. Uh, go ahead and do it now uh, before you leave. And don't forget to like the video before you leave as well. So, all that being said, guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please, if you did, uh, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I do upload a video. Also consider joining my public Discord server where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my Dude Society community. With all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been real fun. This has been that SRE2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.